Wand of Slow Monsters. Great. Piffed. Oh yeah, I didn't bring one because I was sure my keyring would survive and... It's tame, but it keeps blasting them at me. What the... Oh! Oh, of course! It's because I have conflict on! That's why. I don't know why that was attacking me, but the keyring didn't. Did it have something to do with the fact I got it from a figurine? Okay, what's this amulet? Life-saving, okay. Screw you, amulet of ESP. We're putting on this amulet of life-saving. Yaha! And an amulet of life-saving means that if you die, the amulet disappears and you survive. Okay, there are a few things it won't uh, save you from. If you genocide your own race, which I don't think is possible with humans, uh, then it'll like, uh, no, 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 I don't want to lock it. I wanted to, I thought it was locked, so. What's this spell book? Invisibility. Useless. Aren't I already invisible? Combat boots. Water walking boots. Sure, that might be useful. There's always a uh, amulet. I think the stuff in the in there is uh, like kind of set. I it's always water walking boots somewhere, and it's always an amulet of life saving somewhere, which is uh, really nice. Don't need crystal plate mail. Dragon scale mail is uh, not only better, but um. But uh, it um. Oh yeah, it weighs less. That's why Dragon's Ale Mail is the best armor in the game. It's light. It doesn't uh, hinder spellcasting. I wonder what this is. Probably something bad. Yeah, Amulet of Strangulation. We don't want to wear that. I think that's everything. Okay, here it is. This is where we fight Vlad. Vlad has a candle, this candle brom thing that's necessary for the invocation ritual, which is necessary to win the game. Uh, wait. Put the food rations away, amulet of ESP away. I don't need the lance anymore until I manage to both get a mount and a saddle. Did I mention I hate black dragons? The ironic thing is that they're really the only way to get disintegration resistance. So that's Vlad. He's like, King of the Vampires. Or something. Gain level, storability. The other ones are kind of useless, but the potion of gain level, let's see if it's cursed or not. Blessed! Okay, the different. Okay. An uncursed one just brings you up to the beginning of the next level. That is, it's like you're at the beginning of the next level, but don't have any extra sort of experience. You, you see what I mean? Like, uh, if you need a certain amount of. E if you, if the lowest, it, like, if a level is like, I don't know, 16,000 experience to 32,000 experience, it would start you at the 16,000 experience. The Cursed Ones, as you know, just bring you up a level, you know, dungeon level, but the Blessed Ones uh, bring you up a level, and the amount you're above the minimum of your current level is how much you're above that one. Well, the point is, it's, it's better, so let's uh, quaff it. Level 19. Ah, get rid of that, yes. Oh man, this is Vlad. Oh yeah, he's king of the vampire lords. He's going to be tough, I bet. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is going to be... Okay, I bet he's going to burst out some strong spells any time now. I hit the guy... I attacked the guy three times and he dies? I attacked the guy three times and he dies? 
Yeah, uh, Vlad is kind of a bit infamous for just being so ridiculously easy. Just throw this in here, you know, for more holy water. Well, there's a throne at least. Maybe I'll get a wish out of it. I feel very foolish. Well, the unicorn horn will uh, cure that. Well, no wish for me. Great. I've already got plenty of scrolls of teleportation. Okay, yeah, there's no one over there. Oh, no! Oh, this stupid thing gave me amnesia! Uh, okay, this was why I was going to genocide the stupid things. Ah, uh, the stupid thing. I didn't... Oh, figure that. Kill the Vampire Lord and then the Mind Flayer pops up and... Pff. Let's explain how Mind Flayers work. They hit you a lot of times with the tentacles. If, uh... Unfortunately, uh... Grease things will sometimes protect you, but then the grease can wear off. Well, the bottom line is, if it hits you and your brain is eaten, you lose intelligence. But even worse, you got you forget things. Meaning you gotta remap levels. Looks like we're going to be using that uh, spellbook of magic missile a lot. Did I have a uh, spell of a uh, jump? Jumping, yes. Okay, that means I can get a bit over this way. Oh, I cannot see where to land. Oh. Okay, calm down. Just need to uh, think about this. Okay, well, can we teleport in this level? No. Okay, first step. Get away from the Mind Flayer. Now restore the intelligence. That can't restore the amnesia. Just watch, look. You forget stuff. Like, what's this potion? Oh no, I forgot! What's this wand? Oh no, I forgot! What's over the- what's all this stuff in here? Oh no, I forgot! Well, uh, let's, uh, be fair. It's not exactly hard to cast some, uh, identify spells. Oh yeah, don't have enough energy. Better invoke that to get that back. Okay! You don't want to fight these guys in melee. So what we're going to do instead is, uh, Wait for the mind, stupid mind flare to get here, and start uh, hitting it with some magic missiles. Well, there's a mind flare corpse. Might as well eat it. Well, increase my intelligence by one. They can uh, do that. They have a chance of doing that or giving you telepathy. So something good came out of the whole thing. Great, this means that we're not that we're gonna to have to actually go back and remap all the levels of the game. Oh, a scroll of magic mapping. Well, that'll make it a little easier. End of this part.